Hey, what's up? Mike Bennett, musictrainer.com. And wanted to talk to you real briefly about selecting a drumstick because I know, especially when you start playing, it can be really intimidating when you walk into the music store and you see big stacks of sticks and you're going, well, which one works for me or which one works for my band? And most importantly, you're about to spend your money and we wanna make sure that you spend your money wisely and get the best product that's gonna work for you. Drumsticks come in a lot of different shapes, sizes, woods, with all sorts of different features. The first thing I recommend is buying one with my name on it. Secondly, is going around and experimenting with all the different sticks from all the different brands and putting them in your hand. What feels good? You know, what kind of feels is a natural extension of your arm? Because you gotta spend a lot of time with these in your hands and you gotta get your sound out. So make sure from the get go that it just feels like a good relationship, a good weight. Now, the drumsticks can come in different lengths and different thicknesses and the different, what we call the taper and the tip. This particular tip is a barrel tip and it allows me to get a real sharp cymbal sound. So it's good for me who, who's really into dark cymbals and plays a lot of ride cymbal because it's really deliberate. Now, this stick may not be good if you're playing in like a heavy metal band or a pop punk band. I tend to use this stick for everything. I think it's a good general stick and I, I try to use it because I don't want to switch sticks as much as I used to. But you could go up to a thicker stick, similar to this one, which this is an 8A to a 5A. Now you'll notice a little bit thicker, a little bit different taper, and also, most importantly, a little bit different tip. So let's A, B these two different sticks. It's one, and here we go with the 5A. Are you hearing the difference in volume and sound? And I'm trying to let this stick vibrate. Again, if you go back and uh, look at the, uh, the hand technique section, we talk about not choking the stick because we can hear a big difference with the stick. From that to now I'm gonna loosen up. I can actually feel that stick vibrating in my hand. So this would be a good general purpose stick. You could use this for your rock band, you could use it in your concert band, and maybe this stick would be good if you're playing in your school jazz band uh, or some like lighter pop band. Uh, now you may need a stick that's even thicker. You might want to go to like a 5B or a 2B, you know, and, and get some baseball bats because what we're looking for in that sense is durability. Something that's gonna be able to handle the punishment that you're gonna give it. But if you're playing like a light jazz gig, if you're, if you're playing at a restaurant or playing at your local coffee shop where volume is an issue, you might wanna try a stick like a 7A or some of the other specialty sticks that these uh, various companies offer. And uh, that'll allow you to play a lot quieter and at least have a little more control with the stick too. But most importantly, go through, try them out. It's like trying on clothes. Find out what stick works best with you and you know you look best with. So uh, experiment, bother the people at your local music store, make them hand you a whole bunch of different sticks and hopefully you'll find the right stick for you and be able to spend your money wisely. Briefly too, I'm gonna show you two specialty sticks that you may see both in a music store or you may be on a gig or a session and see on your chart go, okay, mallets. So here's what a mallet looks like. This is your standard timpani mallet. And there's a lot of different mallets. You can find them with yarn and different materials, different weights that'll all, and they will all react differently. This one is a little bit thinner and I, you can use it on toms, timpanis, or, really frequently in charts for things like cymbal rolls. And later we're gonna do a whole section on how to use these mallets and get some really good cymbal rolls. So mallets, if you see it on a chart, this is what you're looking for. Go into your music store. They should know what you're talking about. If not, keep your eyes open for something that looks like this. Another really important specialty item that you'll find, especially in jazz music or a lot of contemporary sessions, and I think it's so important for drummers to not only have in their arsenal and in their stick bags, but to know how to play well, 
is brushes. And these are wire brushes and what we call retractable brushes. So as you can see, when I'm done, I can put them away. It keeps the brush safe because these bristles here are really fragile. And it's a rubber handle. And the brush is cool because we've heard that cymbal sound before. Check out this sound. Really, really light. And what's cool too is on a coated head, we can get that stirring sound and all sorts of cool special effects and use the tips, you know. It's, it's not just what's on the surface, you know. You can, you can experiment with all the, the different ends of the stick. So, very important item. Check back soon. We're gonna have a great section just on brush technique of how do you play it in jazz and a lot of varieties of, of various styles. Very important to have. You know, put it on your wish list, go into a music store, get yourself a set of brushes. So, sticks, mallets, brushes. Get them, have fun. See you soon. MikeBennettMusicTrainer.com